We are only a few weeks away from early voting and on the ballot is Midland ISD's $1.4 billion school bond. As the school district continues to educate the community on the facts of the bond, a tour of Midland High was done tonight. Tyler Dupnik joins us in studio now. And Tyler, what did you learn about the facilities there? Well, Alex, I learned that there are challenges to education that are presented with the way the facilities are constructed. Parts of Midland High are 20 years old from the 2002 bond, but other parts are much older. If these hallways could talk. 95 years old. That's the age of some of Midland High's campus. So the education 90 years ago is much different than, than it is now. And so some of the challenges of our, the older parts of our building have very few plugs versus most of the education is technology based and technology driven now. And so um, we're just trying to give our kids a 21st century education. And so some of the, the older parts of the building make that difficult. Dr. Jennifer Seibert is the principal of Midland High and tonight's tour guide. It's just eye-opening some of our facilities and how old they are, um, how narrow our hallways are, how small some of our classrooms are. Um, and that's just because it was built almost 100 years ago. So the thought of the spaces then and now is just much different. So most people are just, um, it's enlightening. It's like, wow, they didn't know what was behind the walls at Midland High. Midland ISD Superintendent Dr. Stephanie Howard knows there's also an impact outside of education. The uh, mechanical, electrical, plumbing and, and facilities of this age, of course, is expensive to renovate, but then it's also expensive to maintain older facilities. Capacity is a challenge as well for the current campus. Every 48 minutes at Midland High, students are leaving for different courses. Um, they're headed to Midland College or the ATC or Cogdell. Um, for athletics, they're going to the Boneyard and Memorial. So Midland High is just very busy all the time. That reality would be altered with the passage of this school bond. What would change is the amount of travel, the amount of places students would have to go if we had a new Midland High. It would be um, students would come to school and they would stay at school all day and um, they would get all of their classes here versus just the constant movement. Now, if the bond passes, the future of Midland High is uncertain as Midland freshmen would actually become a middle school. Legacy High School would become a middle school as well. And if you want to tour that campus, you can do so next Monday at 6 p.m. starting in the library.